Two years ago, I uploaded a video titled 1000 Stars, inspired by a similar video from Artifexion. In that video, I showed a spreadsheet I made that can generate 1000 main sequence stars with an accurate distribution, along with a bunch of information about those stars. Today, however, I have what I would argue is a much more useful tool. A spreadsheet tool that helps you both store information about fictional star systems and their satellites, and also make calculations about their features. First, at the top of the spreadsheet is all the stellar characteristics. Because this tool is built for solo main sequence stars, of which, like, 90% of stars are, it only takes its mass as an input, and from there it can determine its stellar type, radius, luminosity, lifespan, and habitable zone. However, if you have a non-main sequence star, you should just be able to input your own radius, luminosity, and lifetime, and everything else should still work. Then, down at the main part of the table is where all the information is stored. Satellites of a star would include planets, asteroids, dwarf planets, and maybe even periodic comets. The satellites of those planets, however, do not have their own rows. These planets' characteristics are divided into six categories. Basic characteristics, composition, orbital motion, rotational motion, surface, and satellites. All of the values here are stored in absolute metric units and not relative units. The boxes in white are the ones you should fill in yourself, which include things like mass, distance, and things like that. The grayed out boxes are calculated automatically based on the inputs, so you do not need to put any of your own numbers there. Unless, of course, you are importing information from a pre-existing project, and already have calculated these numbers and want to continue using your old numbers. Some of these characteristics have asterisks in them, meaning that they are heavily dependent on the time. The anomaly, argument of obliquity, and yaw change very often, anywhere from a day to a few thousand years. The values you put here should represent some specific moment in time, maybe a year zero, or some other important time for your world-building project. Some caveats about the surface section, specifically the temperature. This is really mostly for habitable and non-tidally locked planets, because of how messy temperature becomes with atmospheres. Its calculations are only accurate when the greenhouse gas factor is less than 20. Different climate zones and oceans will also greatly change the average temperatures. And finally, the satellite section. This table does not store satellites in their own rows, like the planets. Instead, they are represented as a group of 18 columns in the planet's row. These 18 columns include basic information like mass, size, distance, composition, and the orbital period. If you want to store another satellite for a planet, you can add one column to the right of the table and copy-paste the entirety of the satellite section to create a new 18 columns, including all the calculations. A few of the characteristics are a little unclear and may be unfamiliar to some, so I'll clarify them here. The ascending node is the point in the orbit at which the orbit goes from below to above the ecliptic, which corresponds to the point in the orbit relative to the grid that the inclination is at its peak. The argument of periapsis just describes what point, relative to the grid, the planet is at its periapsis or closest to the star. The anomaly is how far along the planet is from its periapsis in the current moment, whatever you define this current moment as. The argument of obliquity is the direction the north and south poles face as of right now. Not the axial tilt, but the direction. This direction slowly wobbles over 41,000 years on Earth. This period is also a column on the table. The yaw is how far from some arbitrary meridian the planet has rotated about its axis. All of these values are pretty insignificant, and it makes sense if you don't want to specify them. They aren't using calculations like the mass and distance are. Suggest changes to the spreadsheet in the comments, and have a happy New Year's!